Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, Krang. That's right, another classic character is coming to the new movie, and I'm really excited about the style of these guys, the introduction of these guys in the movie, and of course, the action figures. This is another one I've been really anticipating, so let's check out the brand new Krang. As you can see, he comes in that same style blister card packaging, featuring the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows uh, representation of the turtles up there in the right-hand corner of the package, and the blister bubble below that fully showcases our Krang action figure within. If you flip that box around to the backside, we're treated to a look at some of the other figures in this brand new toy line. So let's go ahead and get Krang outside of the package and take a closer look at him. Now, you might have noticed that Krang is spelled with two A's, just like the new representations from the Nick Turtles cartoon. But it looks like they're going the route of the original Krang in this new movie. Now, we don't know that for sure. There might be multiple of these guys in the new film, and we'll find out. But the design of the android body and everything is very similar to that of the original Krang style. Uh, so that's pretty great. Now, let's start with uh, looking at Krang himself here. Uh, he's a smaller figure, and much like we saw with the Nick Turtles Krang, He's made of a very soft, rubbery material. So you can see he's very squishy, very pliable. He's got all these great little tentacles. He's just molded in pink. The eyes are painted. A little sloppy on the paint, but it's not too bad. It kind of works <laughs> with his, like, warped brain-like face there. Look at that little sneer on his mouth. I love that. I can't wait to hear how he talks. Uh, but he's really cool. You can see he's a much longer in design than we've seen before. He's almost got, like, this long brain or almost looks like a... Like a xenomorph head, doesn't it? That's crazy. <laughs> but it's really long. You can see he's kind of got these uh, tentacles on the side. The tentacles on the front look a lot like the Nick Turtles version. So he's very similar. And you can see he's hollowed out on the inside there. So he's got that hollowed out body. Now we've got the android body here. And you'll notice he does have the empty cavity right here so our crank can fit inside. Uh, now this part's a little interesting because this is a pretty big crank. And you can see he's standing them side by side. He's pretty big. You're really going to have to squish him in there. And it doesn't appear like this opens up or anything. I, I messed around with it. It doesn't look like it. I think it's pretty uh, solid here. So uh, I think you just got to kind of shove him in. And this is where things get kind of fun. I mean, you, this is a bigger crank. And I, I found it's a little bit easier if you kind of tuck the tentacles underneath just a little bit. And you kind of like mash him in here. So let me give this a shot real quick. Just so you guys can see what you, you got to do. Because... I feel like a lot of people are going to be wondering how to get through this. So you kind of just mush them in there just like this. I guess you can leave some of the front tentacles hanging out if you want to. It doesn't look, they don't show the tentacles hanging out on the back of the box. And in the trailer, it looked like there was kind of like a little window, you know, like a glass door or something. Oh, man. Let's see if I can get this guy squished in there. You almost do have to just kind of tuck all the tentacles underneath if you can get them to stay there. All right, so here we go. Look, I got it all squished in there. Uh, I want to point something out, and this is definitely worth noting. You see what happened when I squished him in here? Oh, I rubbed his eye off. Look at that. That is a bummer. Uh, so the eye rubbed right off in the review. Now, I had put him in here before to take some pictures. So the pictures you're going to see of him, uh, he'll still have his eye. But, man, the eye just rubbed right off while I was squishing him in there. So I guess that's something you got to be careful of. While you're pushing the crane in there, um, the, the paint on the eye seems to rub right off. But this is what it looks like now. So you can see he just kind of mashed in there. Um, it's kind of fun, and it works fine. I mean, it's not too bad. I, I, I don't know, maybe he needs to be a little bit smaller so that he fits a little bit better, but otherwise, there you go. That's what our crane looks like in the body, and I kind of do like it. I think it looks kind of fun all smashed in there like that. So the design of the android body, like I said, is very similar to the original cartoon series. You can kind of tell the bald head, the way the visor is on there. Uh, you know, it has more of like a human look in the face. Uh, pretty cool. And then you can see he's got this big bulky body, big almost like robotic looking shoulder pads. I love the multiple colors used here because we got like a light gray, we got like a gunmetal, uh, then we got like this almost like an off white color used for the rest of the body there. Great sculpt in there. Um, not a lot of extra paint detail going on. We do have some shiny silver seen on like the elbow over here. Uh, but I like that too. Like the design of the arms are different. He's got like this big bulging kind of disc elbow over on the left arm. The right arm looks a little bit more normal. You can see he's kind of got like these claw like fingers. Uh, it's a really cool design. I actually like it quite a bit. And you can see the same kind of gunmetal up at the top of the thighs there, then more into the skin tone, and then in those like plain silver boots, which kind of have a very mechanical look to them there. A little hollowed out on the bottom. So, kind of a neat design. I actually really like the way he looks. I'm excited to see the way he turns out in the film. But let's go and check out articulation on this guy. 
The head's got the ability to look just left and right. You just all you're really going to get out of it there. The arms have the ability just to move forwards and backwards. So a little bit more basic articulation on him than what we've seen with guys like Bebop and Rocksteady. Now he does have a nice elbow bend. And on the right arm, you can swivel the elbow left and right. The left arm, since it's got this kind of bigger sculpt, it only goes up and down. So you can't move that one left and right. We do have the hinge joints at the thigh, so you can see the legs can go outwards, they can move forwards and backwards there, which is really nice. We do have a nice swivel at the knee, and we've got knee joints. So the articulation is still pretty good on this guy, it's just not quite as uh, dynamic as what we saw with Bebop and Rocksteady, but I think it works out just fine for a character like this. I mean, he looks pretty imposing, looks pretty cool, like we got the little crane just kind of squished in there, which is funny. Um, so just a really neat, pretty neat looking figure there. So scale on this guy is about five and a half inches. He's about the same size as Rocksteady. So if you pair him up with Bebop and Rocksteady, you can see the scale of him there. Looking pretty cool. All right, guys, it's Krang Parison time. It's kind of crazy how many Krang representations we have in figure form now, but here's the new Out of the Shadows version of Krang standing alongside some of the other Krang action figures from the past. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Out of the Shadows Krang from Playmates Toys. A few downsides with this guy. Uh, the Krang being a little bit too big and kind of squishing in weird is a bit odd. Not a deal breaker for me, but I am kind of bummed that I rubbed the paint right off the eye of the Krang. I think that is a bit of a bummer and definitely something I'm, you guys are going to have to be careful of when you're doing this with your own. But other than that, I like the sculpt of the Android body. Uh, he might benefit from a little bit more of paint deco, but it's not too bad. I just like the combination of silvers that they use there. Um, it's like a flat silver, a shiny silver, and a gunmetal, so that's pretty cool. And the overall design of the character is pretty neat. It's a great representation of Krang to add to your toy shelf. So hey guys, these brand new TMNT Out of the Shadows figures are starting to hit store shelves right now. I found mine at Walmart. So happy hunting, my friends. And hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on a review. Until next time, my friends.